Hello everyone, it's Juliet Edwards again, and welcome back to my channel. I'm, I apologize for being away. Uh, the, the school year has started again, and uh, my, uh, my oldest granddaughter had started high school, and uh, I had to watch the baby again because there's no space in Head Start for her right now. So I've been busy with her, and I'll, let's say it's been exhausting. Um, she arrives very early, and uh, trying to find sleep is was non-existent, and been extremely exhausted. And today was the first day that, you know, she didn't show up, and I looked at my messages, and my daughter said, Victoria is going to be staying home, and her dad's going to come over and watch her. So I was able to sleep in and um, got up at a really good time, almost 11 o'clock. Then prepped food for, you know, prepared food for my husband. Packed his lunch, set him off, and then when he left, I fell out until 7.30 p.m. this evening. And so I thought <clears throat> um, I would film something today and show you what I was working on. And I did this painting last night. Um, using 140 um, pound watercolor by Arches and it's 300 GSM so it's a pretty thick card made for strictly for water color and so I wanted to try it out and I thought well I'm gonna go ahead and film the finishing touches that I have that I'm gonna do I'm gonna add some water um, features here to make look like the, the the shells are sitting on top of let me see if I can get this up closer to you without that glare put some water features on here to make it look like the shells are sitting on water and when we go on vacation next month we're going to um, Fort Myers and hopefully we'll be meeting up with a woman who is just is just lovely. Her name is uh, Sharman Seminetti. She said when we get closer to arriving to let her know, see if her schedule is open for us to meet. But I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that we do get to meet up because it was her that I was able to, to paint this subject. And what I did was I purchased some. I've been watching her. Let me back it up. It's her channel, I believe, is called S W F Beaches. I think her name is Charmin Simonetti on YouTube, and she's she goes shelling all the time. And I stumbled upon her her channel and just fell in love with it. And I've been watching her going out and shelling, and I and I you know got very nostalgic, you know, tears coming up because I thought I am not going to be able to go to the beach anymore because I can't walk it. You know, I mean, I can go to the beach, but how much can you enjoy from a boardwalk, right? Uh, there's no way I can walk the beaches out there and collect shells. So I asked her if I could purchase some of her finds. And right here, as you can see, is some of the things that I paid $25 for this bunch, and it's well worth it because I got a Flora Fighting Conch. Isn't that just gorgeous? It's a thick, hefty piece of of shell. And I think she would prefer this as a juvenile uh, flora fighting conch because these things can get really massive. And this is just a, a juvenile, I guess. And correct me if I'm wrong if you're watching this, Sh uh, Charmin. But here is a lettered olive. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. And, and look at how this thing is pretty hefty. I think this is like my first favorite it comes they're just so shiny and she has a channel on her youtube where some of these are just have been salted over by the sea and it's got the those layers of um salt and then what she does is she dips these into acid and it it brings it back to life and i don't know if these are one of them but 
if it was dipped in acid, the shine on it. Uh, can you see that reflection in the light? Look how gorgeous. And this is lettered olive because usually they have a letter on it. Like you could see these. If you hold it this way, that would be a W, that way an M, and then look, that looks like an M. So it's got the letter M on it. It's just pretty cool. I just love it. And then this is a, uh, I want to say this is a tulip shell. Ooh! And that's a pretty hefty shell too. And then, I mean, Lee, these are, these are, this is my jewels. I mean, you know, because I'm a San Diego, California gal. And I haven't been to the San Diego since 2009. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Almost the year 2020, 22. So almost 13 years. And... You know, and these years later, I'm disabled. I don't walk very good. So it's like, well, if I can't walk them, I'm going to purchase some. So I have part of the ocean with me. And so I did. And the, this is a lightning whelk. Isn't that just gorgeous? To me, this looks like it's someone just painted it with um, Nutella. Every time I look at this shell, I think of Nutella. You know, if that chocolate spread, if nobody knows about it, it's absolutely yummy. And this one is a pear whelk. And this one is really fragile. But look at the insides. This is super thin. If I were to drop it on the floor, it would probably break all apart. And then she sent me a piece of coral. I mean, if you see, and this is a larger lightning whelk, and these guys get ginormous. I mean, huge. And um, the interesting thing about these, these things have, they come out with this, like, snake-type egg sac, and in it, in these little layers of these egg sacs, are tiny baby shells, like this baby teeny weeny puny. Imagine they start off like that. Imagine that. Didn't know didn't know that they had lay these big eggs um, type things that look like a like a snake who's shed its skin you know and it looks just like that and then they have these little flaps coils all I mean just coiled throughout and it's it's amazing so yeah I'm gonna go next month to Fort Myers <clears throat> And go shelling. And the reason why I can go shelling is because they have sand wheelchairs. Imagine that. Um, we tried so hard to find the electric sand chairs that they offer. But it just does. They don't offer them in Fort Myers. Well, one place did. But I only wanted it for two days. We're going to be there for about five days. And out of the five, I wanted it for two days. Um... And, but I had to pay for a five-day if I was going to rent it. And that was going to be nearly $600 for two days. And I, was, and I, you know, I came to tears. And I got all emotional. Like, well, there goes my trip. How am I going to go? How am I ever going to be able to, you know. And then, because while they had the place where we're staying, while they have the sand beach wheelchair, um, I just didn't want my husband having to push me everywhere along the along the beach, you know, because I wanted this for him to have be on vacay too. But apparently, they it's not um, too arduous to push anyone. It's made for the sand, so it rolls over the sand really easily. So yeah, on those two days, uh, Saturday, Friday, and Saturday, I'm gonna hit the shores because of those two days of low tide. And I, um, Charmin gave me the the time that it's going to be out on a low tide. So Friday, 9 o'clock, and then Saturday, 10 o'clock. And I told my husband, I'm going to be out there on the water at 8 o'clock on Friday. And while it's low tide on Saturday at 10, I want to be out there about 8, 9. You know, of course, we'll have breakfast before we hit the, hit the road, Jack. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. 
Anyway, hit the fan, Jack. Anyway, you know that song. Anyway, I'm just so excited. I can't wait. So coming back to the painting, you know, I, I told her that I wanted to have um, a painting subject of shells. And so I painted this Florida Fighting Conk. The scallop and and I did it a lot brighter because while she's been on her walk I've seen them almost this bright this beautiful purple and this has got magenta and purple in it and it's just a little dulled out I don't know if she has dipped this yet in acid but because dipping it in acid rejuvenates the color um, but I have seen on her walks beach walks um, these scallops that are that purple and then she sent me um, an apple murex these things are so cute and they're hefty and I'm hoping to find the um, lace murex they actually it looks almost identical to this but on the edges here actually and on the ridges here actually looks like lace no kidding I mean no I'm hoping to come across one of those and this one is a shark eye and while this one looks very similar, this is a nautica. And the shark eyes is where it comes down to the middle and it's um looks like a shark eye and it's got some a color dot in there. And some of them she's found that have blue in it. And those would be called the I guess the Paul Newman shark eye. And this is a nautica. And I think this is a nutmeg. And there's, there's smaller, I think, uh, a tiny baby Florida Fighting Conk, or it could be like the Queen's Crown, because it's got these little sharp points throughout them. I think this might be the Queen's Crown. And this one is a baby Florida Fighting Conk. And I guess how you can tell is if you, I don't know if you could see these really good, but it's got a bunch of tiny, these um, raised um, edges. It looks like a crown. It's actually pretty cool looking. And this is a turban. It's, I think it's called something turban, but it actually looks like a turban. You know, those that they wear in the Middle East where Muslims wear the turbans, or even Indonesians wear those turbans. Um, and here, I don't know if this was going to grow up as a queen, um, Queen Conk because it's got all those little those sharp points in them. They're layers of sharp points. And I guess that's how you can tell that's a, a Queen's Conk. I think that's what you call them. And I'll I'll get those names down and then check it out. I want to show you this one. This is called a spiky jewel box. And I hope that I find one that's intact, and that's on its own um, hinges, a hinged um, spiky jewel box. Isn't that pretty cool? Look at those spikes on it. Yeah. So cool. Love it. And then I have ladies, I think this is the ladies in, lady in waiting show, I think. And then, or she, there's a, must be another name for it, but I know that she's referred to it as these little ridges like you know on a um this 45 the record players you know the records has those lines in a record player a record not a record player but anyhow and this one here is a turkey wing yeah cool right love it and i forget the name of this but it's a small little cone it's a cone shell and then these are Rose shells, something like that, rose shell. I think this was more intact, but um, this one was a little rounder. But my my granddaughter, Victoria, had to look at these, and she held them all so cute in her hand. And I think she dropped it in a bunch, and it may have broken off, but it's still yet yeah, very beautiful. Um, and then these are the spiky these are sp spiky clamshells 
spiky something clamshell, I think. And they've got tons of spikes. If you run your hand over it, it looks like rough sandpaper. But those are pretty awesome. And I forget what these are called. These other tiny ones. But I think th these are as large as they get. But these are just like really fragile. And they're so colorful. So I'm hoping to find lots of those. Because I'm planning on using them on some projects when I do like a seascape. Um, the Seaside uh, Junk Journal. So yeah, these I'm hoping to collect a lot of them because when they put be pretty cool on a dangle on a on the part of the spine or decorate a spine with shells. So that's my goal. And so let me get to I'm gonna get to this painting. You know, it's just I know I haven't worked on my steampunk journal. It's because I have, I've, I have come at a, I'm blocked. You know, I, what do we refer those to? Like a, you know how the, a junk journal block, like they have the writer's block has those problems. And let's see where it's at. I can show you real quick. Let me just show you real quick. Let me grab it. Ugh. Ay, 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 ugh. This thing is about to fall apart. Okay, here it is. Here's the steampunk journal that I should be working on, but I have a journal block. And that's because, look at how thick this is. I was going to put them on a 2-inch ring binder, and then I had to purchase a 3-inch ring binder. But it, even though it works, even though it works, it it's so gaudy, the three ring binder, it comes way out here. And then it started to bust up, pull this um, eyelid out. So I'm thinking about doing a whole new spine. I might put this in a, uh, make this into a book. And use this as the cover. So that's where I'm I'm stopped up. So if anybody wants to give me any suggestions on this, if there's a way to keep this in a three ring binder or some sort of I even put leather through this. I strung the leather up here and through here. And I was able to turn it, but I was afraid that the it will weaken these eyelets still so that's out of the question so this might end up going into a book I'll have to alter it naturally you know I'll have to alter these but I don't know let me remind you of what I've done so far so we got the cover here and then you know I did the mixed media steampunk behind it but in the front here this is where you would keep your um, beautiful pictures and stuff and then I made a flip here and I attach little eyelets and jump rings and then it opens up like this and this is where you would you know keep a picture or photo and write something in it and then here this little flip uh, houses a oops houses a tag that you can write on you can write something about whatever the photograph that you have placed in there. Uh, this does slide in easy, but my hands, my fingers, I my fingers are just a bit wonky, feeling wonky. I guess. Oh, why isn't this going in? It does naturally slide in very well. Huh. Huh. Hang on, folks. Let me get one of my paintbrushes and see what is going on with this and why it's not sliding in like it should. There's no encumbrance. There's nothing to encumber this. But it sure does seem like it. I'm going to set that aside. I'll figure it out. Okay. Let me go and set that in here 
it does slide in and out easy. I just don't know why. I'll have to look at it very closely. So there's that first page done. And then I have another one here for the owner who owns this journal can um, decorate because this will come with extra ephemera. So they have that page to decorate however they would like. And then here is this the pouch that made with the large envelopes. And inside of it will house the journal, which I haven't sewn yet because I'm not sure, you know, I haven't put any pockets in yet. I haven't sewn any of the pages and that will get done once I get back to I could just start working on these little elements for all of you. And then so there's that one and then come to the second section with this mixed media page. Um, oops. And then with that here. So it opens up just like this. Let me get that other one out. And I'll lay it out just like that. So here's the first. Oops. Here's that first page. Get the full view. So when you open up the book, this comes open and it lays flat so you can see the full page spread. So let me go put that back here in the order in which it was it came. Okay. Just set that over and put that back in. So there's that one. And then the other page for the owner to decorate. And then the other, because this will this journal will come with three um, signatures. Okay, so it's going to be lots of writing space. And then here is this one with Eliza Doolittle. Remember, this is based on my um, my fair lady, Eliza Doolittle. You know, after she's become educated, she's on her way and traveling the world. She's not going to waste that education, right, from um, Professor Higgins. And there's Professor Higgins up here. This is the um, where she starts traveling some more, you know, and hanging out with her now hubby. Because that's assumed that they got married, right, in um, My Fair Lady. And then... the other page and then the third and final journal or signature and then the back of the spine I haven't decorated it yet but there's the back which will have other steampunk elements like the front cover so there's that brief on where that is and I'm absolutely stumped but what I think I'll do just so that you guys can finish me uh, finish this up I will go ahead and decorate, um, put pockets in, put other um, cogs and gears um, in it, and then I'll figure out how I'm going to build this cover. And if anybody has any suggestions, because see, look at this is pretty thick, right? Anybody have any suggestions on how I should close this up, please let me know in the description box below. Please let me know. Okay, so I'll move this aside. So now I want to get to this. I really want to finish this because this will be a gift to Sherman Simonetti at SWF Beaches. On, it's her YouTube channel. And she does shelling, which is pretty cool. Oh my gosh, who knew? You know, I just love YouTube because you can have any type of anything going on and I'm so happy that I stumbled on this channel because I just miss the ocean and the smell of it and the taste of the salty air and the salty fishy air you know it's just that was my first love the ocean I lived there actually as a child it would be considered my second home if I wasn't home home you know with the fam bam I would be at the beach surfing and just surfing all day and surfing all day. I wasn't one of those gals that liked to lay out on the beach unless I was actually cold and needed some sun, but I wasn't the one that just laid there and caught a tan. I got my tan on my surfboard, you know, and yeah, 
I wasn't surfing, I would be eating at a restaurant. Because my surfing stomping ground was Oceanside, California. Uh, right there near Hill Street where all the restaurants were. So, yeah. So we'll go ahead and get started and, and painting this. I'm going to create the water features on here. So hopefully this will be a success. I hope I don't mess it up. Um, I hope. I don't think so because this paper is quite different. If I wasn't happy about it, I could just mop it up. It's that easy, and that's what you can do on watercolor paper. Strictly because you can manipulate. It's made for water, and it doesn't eat up the paper. So, okay. Just let me put a couple of wet wipes. Um, put that over here to the left of me. If I need to mop something up, I need to get my napkins. Oh, my goodness. I just dropped my stack of napkins. And I hope everybody could hear this because oh, I hope because I well, I think my volume might be okay. If not, then this I'll be scrapping up this scrapping this video, which would be horrible, right? So I get my little napkins. Then I kind of fold it up so it'll retain a lot of liquid. Like so. And I'm using this palette. And it's by Master's Touch Fine Art Studio. It's got 36 colors. Um, and I purchased this at, I think, Hobby Lobby. And what I've done, while well, they come with this tiny little palette here, this little swatch thing, it, it's too tiny for me to refer to. So I made my own in the same order that, is, that I have here, that's here listed. So I can refer to the colors easy and see which ones I want to use. So I keep it right here. And one day I'm going to be able to purchase some Holbein paints. And yeah, but for now I'm just using this and it's working out pretty good. Um, I do believe I think I would love the, the liquid pigment that comes in those little tubes. It's more liquid and you can manipulate. And here, what I'm worried about is having to do a lot of this to get a lot of the pigment uh, up and then put it on my on my board, on my palette here, and I'm worried that I'm going to be ruining my brushes by doing that. And I've, and I've purchased some really nice brushes lately. Um, these are not cheap. These are the um, silver, silver black velvet brushes. And the ones that I'm going to go for next, which I told my husband when I save up some money from the sales of my journals. I'm going to start selling some are the Remingtons. I want the Remington brushes. They're the Remington Sable Synthetic brushes. And while these are, you know, I think this is... I forget what kind of hairs this is. Hmm. Let's but I'll get back to you. I don't want to say something without uh, getting that wrong. So I'll be using these brushes here. They're in this jar, this right here. Oh, you can't see it. Be using these, and I've got my two water, my two water cups, and these are the brushes I'll be using. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And let's hopefully we'll get this done within another 30 minutes because I'm at 29 minutes already after all that. But it's, uh, letting you know what I'm doing, what I've been up to these days, and an update on the Steampunk Journal. I'm stuck, people. I'm stuck. Don't know how to. And 
well, I should have worked on the interior parts of it. I just, when I get stuck, I guess that, that's my analness. My mother used to call me anal. And uh, my husband do, does too when I, when it comes to stuff like this. And he, I just, it stops me. I just sit down and uh, do nothing. I just sit down and do nothing. I just walk away. I just walk, walk, walk away. You know? But then, you know, in these past um, few weeks, haven't been able to get in here because of my grandbaby. When she leaves, I'm out like a light bulb. I, I'm just out till my husband walks through the door at 12.20 in the morning. And usually he calls me about 11 and we talk all the way on his ride home. But I've been out. He's been walking in. And I'm waking up to like, oh, you're here already. <laughs> he goes, yes. And sometimes it'd be like 2 o'clock and he'll be saying, good night. I said, what do you mean? He says, it's time for me to go to bed. Because when he walks in at 12 midnight, he cannot wind down until about 2.30 in the morning. 2.30 is his max hour that he stays up to wind down. And then he's off to bed, you know, off to sleep while I'm sitting up as an insomniac because I've slept. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. So what I'll be doing primarily is using... Uh, Let's see, what I will be using is the white and some blues, you know, and some, maybe some burnt sienna and some brown here, which is called burnt umber and burnt sienna, um, through here and through here, because I'll be using, I'll starting off with the white to get my little waves, my little whitewash wave type things down. So hopefully, now we can get started, I'm really good in view right here I'm looking that way making sure I'm in focus and then now we're gonna go ahead and start painting okay oh here's my little water jug I fill up my jars that would help right fill this up one to muddy up and one clear water to rinse off the brush. Okay. Okay, so how is everybody doing? Things, it just seems like things in the world are not getting any better, right? Um, especially with... Uh, do I want to say it? Do I want to say it? Do I want to say it? Uh, probably not because I'll probably get censored and get cut off. I don't know. But has anyone ever wondered what happened to the flu season or the common cold? Those little viruses that we get? It's like they took it out of our vocabulary. And now another one exists. Okay? Okay. And I'm pretty sure everybody knows what that is because it starts off with the letter C, ends with a 9. And now they're thinking about shutting off or having all of the teenagers uh, stay home. And my oldest granddaughter, I'm just trying to figure out which brush... I want to use right now. I need something a little firm. This one's firm, really firm. But this is going to be probably for more details. Okay. So I'll start off with this one. And or this one. I have this one, which is really nice, but I think it's too soft and it holds a lot of water. And I don't want it puddling, so probably not. I may use that in a bit. I think I'll use this number eight. Yeah, it's usually a good number to work with. And this one is a number six. Okay. So, going back to my granddaughter, um, she's in ninth grade. And she's an army cadet now. An official army cadet. And she will be doing that for hopefully her successful high school. Um... 
education. And she was bummed because she does not do good in, at home. You know, now they're going to do this test thing all the way through mid-September that they're going to be home. And uh, so here's my, I'm laying down my ocean water. Should I zoom you guys in? The ocean waves or the sea, you know, the whitewash, little tiny trickles of whitewash that gathers around the shells as the water. Let me move this out of the way. I need some more hand space. That, you know, moves around the water. You know, the, how it trickles all the way up to... Um, the shore, you see a lot of that white um, wash foam that comes, you know what I mean, right? Everybody knows what I mean. Oh, that's just a bit too much water. I need more pigment. Um, so... Yeah, she doesn't do very well, and now, you know, she, they just got their uniforms in the army, her little army cadet um, class, and yeah, I'm not going to be able to wear that because I guess she's home. Her full dress days is her thurs Thursdays, so when they are, when they're in school... On Thursdays, they have to be in full dress uniform. And boy, does she look so cute. Okay, this point's not working out for me for some reason. Not giving me what I'm wanting. Okay. So yeah, I'm I'm really bummed out for her, you know, because she was just totally loving her ninth grade year. You know, ninth grade is so important. I keep telling my daughter, you know, if you she doesn't have a really good start and ninth grade, it's going to be very difficult for her to, um, you know, I don't want to say, not catch up, but, um, oh, I just had a brain fart, excuse me guys, um, since I've not been on here for a while, I get those moments of brain washes, <laughs> brain farts, I mean. Um, so anyway, she doesn't do well, and she just barely made it out in eighth grade. You know, she, but, you know, they put her in honors class because they knew that that was not typical of Claudia to, to be failing like that. Oh, that's too much water. Let's mop this up in this. Um, so what do you guys think? Is that working out pretty good? It looks like little water trickling up on shore. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of upset that... Uh, hang on a second. I'm kind of upset that uh, I'm trying to see if I zoom this in so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, this is... Uh, before my paint dries. And what I love about this, you know, this water paper, so when you're taking your brush and washing it over, because this right now on camera looks like it's a a hot white mess because I want some of this blue 
the undertone to show, you know, up and I want this I can use the tip and just rub that out. And here is just where this come in and dump some of that liquid out. And that's just too patchy right here. Because I want it to look like it's water. See how it's toning that down. It looks like water is... Now that you're, let's see if I, uh, okay, get you more in frame there. So yeah, I'm just, I'm really super bummed out for her, you know, as I suppose a lot of other kids, I don't know where you're at, I don't know if they're doing lockdowns, I mean, you know, school closures. You know, for, you know, I don't know. Uh, for that new, oh, what do you call it? Uh, I can't say it. So it starts with the D and ends with an A. And, or I should do the two, the starts with a D and V. Well, DV, the new DV. Which I think is a hogwash, you know what I mean? Literal hogwash. So I'm wanting this right now, this to wash over the shell. Like that. Get some strong pigments that's water's rolling over the shell. Yeah, I hope you guys can hear me because I know that at, at times I lower my voice and there we go. I'm hoping that looks, let me hold this up real quick. Yeah, truly I'm so, so set. I'm so disappointed because she was just super excited and, you know, she was home last year, eighth grade because of this, you know, because of us primarily, because she had to take the bus home and come here, you know, to Nan and Pop's house and, you know, what they were saying about that it affects you know, older generation. And so, um, oh, I need to dump that away. Let me see if I can do this without screwing up my... Yeah. So, aside from that, how is everybody doing? How is everybody doing? Um, staying busy crafting and, um, you know, stay busy crafting. I know, because I do see, like in the Facebook feeds and stuff like that, that, goodness gracious, that's a little too much. Drop some of that water down. Um, 
yeah, so I do see a lot of people just actively making stuff, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so far behind. I'm far, far, far behind. Oh my gosh, I just, you know, I did say that I was going to do more and upload, and I was, you know, it's just that, goodness, having to do baby again, you know, Man, she's a toddler. She's ready for head start, I'm telling you. She just stays up. She doesn't she comes in early in the morning and she doesn't even go to bed. You know, um, mommy says, Victoria, do you want something to eat? Are you hungry? And mommy will feed you before you, you know before I leave and she'll No, I'm not hungry. She just wants some milk, right? So Mommy gets her some milk. Okay, and then as soon as Mommy walks out the door, what do you think my grandbaby is saying? My grandbaby is saying, Nance. She said, yes. She goes, I'm hungry. So, <laughs> he was getting up, right? Uh, I am. Nans is getting up to make her something to eat. You know, so instead of me getting some sleep now, imagine. Imagine now. Just imagine. My husband goes to bed at 2.30, right? Okay. 2.30 in the morning. I'm up because I'm on his schedule. And so... I would think I'm getting up at four hours later, make sure I'm awake to receive the baby in the morning. Okay, I need a bigger brush here. I need the eight. Yeah. I'm up making my baby some nummies, because that's what she calls it. Her nummies. Yep. Life of a grandmother. Right, right, right. Right, right. Yep, yep. So. And then she's up for the rest of the day. You know, she's up. Until about... Until about... Uh, right about when Poppy... Poppy Doodle, Poopy Doodle, po Poopy Poppy. Because that's what they call Poppy. It's Poopy Poppy. Um, when he leaves for work. He leaves for work about, well, 125 or so, and um, she falls out about that time, and usually till about 1.30, 2 3, 3 4, but, you know, when grandbaby's sleeping, I'm not going to sleep, because you know me, if I'm, I fall asleep and take a nap with her lights out. You know, and if she wakes, I don't want her being up all by herself. And, you know, toddlers can get into everything, anything and everything, right? So, um, okay, that brush is a little bit big. Let me go back to the little. So, yeah, I just can't. There's just no way. <laughs> so, I don't get any sleep. And then mommy comes in about 515, pick up the babies. Claudia and uh, um, Victoria, because Claudia now comes out here too after school around four. So, you know, she, little sissy is waking up about that time. And I can't say, Claudia, can you watch your sister while I take a quick cat nap? No, because she's got to do homework. And then, you know, I'm not going to have that as an excuse for as to why. 
um, she's not getting any of her schoolwork done, okay? Well, I have to watch my little sister, you know, and I can't do my homework. So, yeah, because that, that excuse happened before in the eighth grade. I'm like, nah, ain't going to happen. Not with Nance. Nope. Um, okay, what's going on with this brush? I think I need a firmer. I thought this brush was going to be a little bit firmer. Okay, why am this thing not loading up any paint here? So, am I, again, jumping all over the map, you guys, with my conversations and, um, Yeah, I think so, probably, right. Yeah, I think so, maybe. Okay, this brush is not working for me right now. Okay. Wash this out a bit. It's a little too harsh right there. Yeah, so, anyway, I'll turn this up this way, let's see how, and that's, yeah, don't want to let her get away with that excuse, because she pulled that one on Mommy way too much last year, and she got away with it for the most part, until, you know, Nanny had to set it straight, I'm like, uh-uh, that's not gonna happen. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. So, Nanny was the bad one, of course. Um, what else? So, yes, going back to, you know, I thought I was going to keep up with my videos, but this thing just, you know, this year, just, it, Victoria was supposed to go straight into Head Start, but no, they do not have an opening for her. And now, with all these the schools closing down, it may not even happen at all. You know, because they may shut down Head Start too, right? And yeah, I'm just yeah, just a little because um, Victoria is so ready. She's just super ready for Head Start. You know, she's ready. That baby of mine is intelligent. You know, and yeah, like I know every grandparent says that, right? But this one has an uncanny, just awesome, intuitive sense. Her, it's just amazing. She can, her reasoning, her, is just on point. It's like, what? Where have I been? Asleep? You know. Okay, what am I doing here? I don't want to, this looks too smudged right around in here. So let's just give it some more. Okay, um, hold that up real quick. Yeah. And Nanny can't homeschool. I'm, I'm not, I'm not getting any younger. And, you know, it's, well, I would love to take that task on. Physically, I'm, it just, I can't do it. I can't do all day. And while well, Jessica, we made this agreement. Well, um, after Head Start, she'll, you know, go and pick up Victoria and then bring her here, which was, which is really good, right? Because um, that's just, that just means for me half the time, you know, 2.30, 3 through 4.35, you know, two and a half hours. And, and that seems 
you know, perfect. It is perfect. Because I can sleep in, because you know I don't go to bed until like the same time my husband does. But because um, of these things happening, I, you know, I, I'm not getting enough sleep. And it just it just gets me into this horrible foul mood and I mean not against my granddaughter or anything but it just I'm so exhausted I'm in pain you know for anybody that's in pain a lot um you you'll understand right those tasks those simple little tasks are not they're gigantic tasks now I just can't they're too much you know and she's um successfully being potty trained she goes to the bathroom so imagine me walking from the living room to the bathroom a lot in a day impossible it hurts i'm in a lot of pain and uh, you know extreme pain oh because i just my walker doesn't walk very good. <laughs> I don't walk very good. My walker walk. My little leggy walkers don't walk very good anymore. And then I'm going to, as I'm outlining all of these, see it's got the blue um, in here, but I'm going to have to add some blue. I hope I'm staying in frame. Blue in through here just a bit bring in some of this blue into the sand the area um so let me uh, yeah i think this brush right here is not the brush it's okay maybe i need to load this up with water and in here again yeah see this one is not the, this one is I got from Walmart and these brushes while they're synthetic they do not hold water so that's why I'm probably struggling for this the tip of this thing to keep unloading what's in the belly of this brush so yeah so I may have to switch that I'm switching it and I'll show you what I mean Take these out of the water so they don't get ruined. Those are the synthetic ones, and I'm going to go ahead and use this one here. And this is a number eight. So I'll wet this. And these, I forget what hair one is. I want to say otter, or I don't know. One of those hairs that hold a lot of water. Okay. Now, let me show you what I mean about this brush here. Because there's so much paint and water in this brush. Okay, watch this. See, it just lays it down so beautifully. Because it just keeps dropping in, dropping the... the, the paint. So see, I can go on and go on and go on with this okay so the waves are running back the white wash is coming up i can just keep using this to find Anyway, what are you guys thinking? Load up this paint section right here with some water. That would help me out.
this here. Wash that out. I don't like that one, so I'm gonna wash this out right here. Take that out. I guess I need to hold that up to make sure. So, anyway, I'm hoping this video comes out really good. I hope you could hear me because I noticed in one of my videos, my the sound wasn't very good. I kept, I sound like I was muffled a lot. Um, so I'm hoping it comes out because I, I can't, I won't be able to redo this video with this painting process here because It's looking pretty good, right? I think. too congested right there. Let me see. I think I need to, I know why, because I need to bring this out a bit more. Show you. The sea foam, or just water. Yeah, there we go. I'm liking that a lot. A lot, a lot. I need to get some... I need to do some a little more detail right around here. Okay, I'll load this brush up again. Okay. See how this, it's just the belly of this brush with the paint, it just keeps loading it. I love it. I just totally love it. And the reason why I'm wanting to go to the, um, the sable brushes while they're synthetic, um, it's because they've got a wonderful snap and that's for like, um, if I'm going to be painting leaves and things that I need to for the brush to spring back.
clean that brush off while I could. So I want some of my blue. I'm trying to take off some of this white here. Spread that white around. Yeah, that's looking pretty darn good, yeah? Now I'm going to go on to some blue. Do I want to use this brush here? Hold on, let me take this one out of the... Okay. Hang on just a second. So, I am thinking that's looking pretty darn amazing. And now I need to get some little bit of hints of this blue. So if you see on my palette, I used, I got this from, this is the color that I painted the background on. So I'm going to see if I can reconstitute this. Just like that. See how that, I love watercolor. Oh, you know when acrylic paints have dried, you can't do that to acrylic paint. You just can't. So now I'm going to use, I've reconstituted this, right? And I probably just don't need any more of this blue except for what I have on this right here. Let me test this out. I think that might be too, yeah, it's too dark. I'm going to just wash that out a bit. Test it out over here. Yeah. So anyway, um, I was, let's see how this blue I want to bring in here. See what I'm doing, everybody? Can you see that? Can you see that? Yeah. Um, you know, I would get on my granddaughter. Uh, Claudia for saying um all the time. What's um? Um, um, um. It's lazy language. You know. And here I do it a lot, you know, myself. So I'm going to come back in here in my little palette with my blue where it's darker and I'm going to take some up because I want a little bit of more of a darker definition in some of these areas like that and then let's bring some over here excuse me I need to turn this around Just kind of roll that brush all over the place to get. There we go. I'm thinking that looks looks looking pretty good, eh? Okay. Clean my brush. Some of this blue and I'm just borrowing some of that paint and moving it right along and I know it's run over some of my white areas but that's fixable you know I'm taking up some of this paint here let's just fix some of this white I'm not going to totally cover it up like that, but I uh, probably should not have added that line, so I'm going to wash that line out. Too hard. 
hard line right there. So what you guys thinking? How about that? How about that? Does that look like water and the water? <laughs> oh, water in the ocean. Water, water, water. So I'm going to take some of my... I'm going to load this up again over here. And then just see where I'm at with that. And just kind of like... Add some of this blue over here. Just add some of this up and through here. Can you see that? That's what I love about watercolor, don't you? You guys just got to give it a try. You know, because think about it. Yes, you can. Every, there's an artist in everybody. You just got to figure out what your paint style is. I love abstract. I mean, I love realistic painting, too. But it's so tedious. I get, like, totally burnt out really fast. If I'm working on one so long, I just, like, oh, put it aside. And I usually never return. Unless I'm kind of you know, totally into it, you know, and, okay, use a little more water, fade that out, like so, Turn it around. Oh, yep, perfecto mundo. I think that's looking pretty darn snazzy. Let me fade this out a bit. It's just two hard lines right there. And uh, borrow some of this again. And try and bring some of that up and through here. Okay. I'm thinking that's looking pretty darn snazzy, right? It's, look at how well I'm mopping up this blue. Using it all up. Can't do that with acrylic paints. You cannot do that with acrylic paints. No. Nah. So let's go in through here and add some of this beautiful aquamarine blue along here. Okay. You need to take just a tad bit more, which one I'm doing. Do it. Get some of that blue and bring it out here. Okay. Some of this blue in through here, close to the shell. And this is when you can add those little bits of detail, you know. Some in through here by this clunk with the apple murics. So when I'm done with this painting, what I'm going to do is I will be uh, scanning it because this is going to be used as a part of my. I need this other one to wash this out a bit. It's just so, so you can take your previously wet brush and just even those hard lines don't want any hard lines because water doesn't have it's fluid doesn't have those hard hard lines right and we just take some of this white Oh, way too much now. I'm gonna 
smooth out that hard line there. Okay. definitions right here. And you've got to know when to stop, right? When you've got something really good, you've got to know exactly when to stop. Right now, Ugh. I'm looking at the camera, seeing if that's looking pretty good. Wash that out a bit like that. This brush just holds so much water, and I'm loving it. It's a little too hard lined right there. Wash that out. Yep. And I think it calls it a day, guys. I'm calling it a day. What do you think? What do you think? I think so, right? And there's that. And I'm an hour and 17 minutes in. And uh, I think we're pretty darn good here. I think we're really good here. So here's this, you guys, up close. So the waves are coming this way. And I know that I, I should have initially just painted the whole thing. But I thought, well, I don't know if I wanted that look. I want, I'm going to scan it because I want these like little rough edges on on paper and then I'm going to be framing this and then putting glass so that way she can just lay it down here you know and then put her favorite shells on it and when you know it's like a table frame and then so when people are going through her shells and whoo this is lovely that's lovely and they're going oh my gosh there's a painting underneath there so this is going to Charmin Simonetti and so Charmin this is for you it's coming to you if we meet up. If not, then I'll leave it at the front desk for you to pick up. Okay? So, everybody, uh, thank you for sitting in with me. And hopefully the volume is perfect so I can go ahead and download this. Um, tell me what you think. Uh, if you like what I did today, give me a thumbs up, please. I guess those thumbs up and likes mean a lot for YouTube. And I just... You know, I know that primarily it's junk journaling, but everything that I do here is going to relate to junk journal because I will be using these in to build. Like I will be copying this, scanning it, and using this paper through a seaside seascape journal. So painting, everything goes in hand. It's all mixed media, right? So I love you guys. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I appreciate um, all of your... Um, time spent with me here uh, at YouTube and please share it with other people because it's my even if it might not be your cup of tea it might be someone else's cup of tea so anyway peace out and much love to you all be safe okay and God bless and be praying for all of our Americans in Afghanistan um, I'm hoping that our president does something and bring them out so be praying for them okay and uh, that's it. Bye now. Bye.